Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Listen, if you haven't done so yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you know each and every time I release a new video. Today we're doing another subscriber question. The reason I like these questions is I know that if somebody's asking this question, there are hundreds, if not thousands of other people that have the same question. So it's great to find out what you guys wanna hear because some of this stuff I take for granted and I don't make videos about. This question comes to us from Jason Allman. Here's Jason's question. I have an off the wall question. What do the pros do to deal with mosquitoes and other biting bugs? I just got my first sit on top kayak, took it out for 90 minutes and got 20 plus bites and not fish bites. Well, Jason, listen, watch some of the other videos and I can help you with those fish bites. But in this question, I'm gonna answer that because it is actually something that I don't think we talk enough about. And that is dealing with not only bugs, but the elements. So. I'll tell you my number one strategy for dealing with biting bugs, and that is to go fishing with Fluke Master. I don't know what it is, if he's got sweet blood, if he wears some kind of funky cologne, but if you go fishing with Fluke Master, you don't need bug spray. He can sit arms length away from me. In fact, we've gone fishing before, and I turn the headlight on and look over, and his face was covered. I'm talking covered with freaking smashed mosquitoes and little blood spots and he had whelps on his neck i'm like you guys are going to think i'm exaggerating i wish i had taken a picture of it but this guy if there's one mosquito on the lake and gene is within a square mile that mosquito will find him but more importantly if there's 10 million mosquitoes and you're sitting right next to him you don't need bug spray fluke master is the best bug spray ever i've told the guy he needs to pretty much like you know bottle up whatever it is that makes uh bugs attracted to them and sell it as a uh, bug repellent so to answer your question in all honesty i'm going to be straight with you a thermocell is by far the number one way that i repel mosquitoes you don't always see it in my videos i don't always use it because i'm one of those people that's blessed with not having a lot of mosquitoes around me one of the things that you can do is be careful with the type of colognes and deodorants and uh, you know things that you do that attract mosquitoes to you. Obviously the carbon dioxide that you breathe uh, has a lot to do with it. And so if you can stay anywhere there's wind, the wind will break up the carbon dioxide trail. Um, but you know, the fact is you're gonna always encounter it. Um, so for me, 100% DEET uh, bins, B-E-N-S, it comes in like an orange bottle. I'm not affiliated with either of these companies, uh, not bins or, um, uh, thermosel, but those are the two. Those are the one-two punch. If it really gets so bad, it's in my first aid kit. I have it with me at all times, just in case, or in case the angler with me uh, really needs it. But Ben's 100% deep, comes in a little orange bottle. Uh, it's phenomenal. I'm not a big fan of the aerosol stuff. Uh, I just don't like it. I don't think it lasts as long. You can't control where it goes. Uh, it ends up all over your stuff. And if you get um, bug repellent on a soft plastic lure, and a lot of times, a lot of times it causes them to disintegrate. Uh, it deteriorates the finish. Uh, it can ruin a hundred dollar lure, fifty dollar lure, twenty dollar lure, or it can ruin a five dollar pack of soft plastic. So I just steer clear of the aerosol stuff, and definitely don't put your bug repellent anywhere near your soft plastics. It will absolutely cause a monumental fail. Um, but the thermocell, the thermocell is the ticket, man. I, I, I put it on the back of my seat. Uh, I put it underneath my seat a lot of times so that it still has the effect, but it doesn't show up. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be hiding it, but again, the thermocell is probably my number one ticket. I get that from deer hunting. A lot of times I put it up over my head uh, and it helps me out, especially early in bow season when the mosquitoes are out real bad. But uh, great question, something that we don't talk about, but uh, yeah, number one, go fishing with Fluke Master. Number two, get yourself some bins or a thermosail and I think it'll solve all your problems. And then just be cognizant of the cologne or perfume or hairspray or whatever it is you wear, because a lot of times that stuff, you know, that additional non-natural stuff is kind of what brings them in in the first place. And they always say uh, ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So yeah, anyway. All right, love you guys. And I got to thank Gene for being my favorite um, insect repellent and uh, bug deterrent. Appreciate you, brother. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching today's video and uh, give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a comment and I'll see y'all next time for some more uh, kayak bass fishing.